from Studio 42, it's Hot Stove Tonight. Back at Studio 42, as promised, with Glenn Healy, Elliot Friedman, and prospects, the hottest names in the game. Yes, when the NCAA tournament winds down and it's winding down, then it's all the teams that clamor over the free agents that are available. And this year's best is Christian Folin, and he is a Swede. He plays with UMass Lowell, and he is a right-hand shot defenseman. He's about six foot three, plays both sides, and he can put the puck right through the net. So, <laughs> quite a player. And there's no doubt he is going to get tons of action. He's almost like this year's Danny DeKaiser from that great school, Western Michigan. You had to Who throw went that. there? Although, just for the record, like they're saying DeKaiser was a little better than Fulene. So that's another victory for Who's Western they? Michigan. Scouts have been. Of course, asking. Western Michigan. They of all course, watch that's, that team. Yeah. That, that's they all say Western Michigan, just a little bit better. Alma mater of Glenn Healy. Uh, another name that's gotten a lot of attention in the last uh, couple of weeks is Jack Eichel. And, and Connor McDavid and Jack Eichel will be the, the two studs at the top of the 2015 draft. Eichel is, has said he's going to go to Boston University next year. And uh, I think there's a real press on from the Quebec League to get him to see if they can come up there. His rights are held by St. John, but I think there's a real feeling that if he doesn't want to play to St. John, he wants to go to a different situation, like say maybe Quebec, they'll make it work. They want him in the Quebec League. They're trying to convince him that for a top level player like him, the CHL is the way to go. The NCAA people are confident he will stay at Boston University, which is where he's supposed to go, but the Quebec League people are really trying. Here's how the plot thickens, okay? A second round pick for Quebec is a gentleman by the name Hannafin. He's a 97 born, and he's a really good player. So Quebec's saying, we've got Hannafin, who's supposed to go to Boston College, but if he stays with this team and we can get Eichel, it's a one-two punch. St. John's trades them. They get lots of players, and 2017 St. John maybe gets the Mem Cup. The big thing for both these players, if you go to college and you play one year in college and then sign a pro contract, if you get sent to the minors, you don't go back to junior like you would. Eichel's, you can go Eichel's to the not going to the minors. Probably not. He'll be in the NHL. Okay, quick, uh, P.K. Subban, let's start to move on this. It'll be the end of the year that they uh, talk with P.K. They're not going to do it through the course of this year. Uh, I will make a bold prediction. P.K. is going to be one rich player. Look at this contract to be something very similar, as I read the tea leaves, something like a Shea Weber contract with a lot of signing bonus. For Ryan Miller, similar situation. The Blues are very comfortable negotiating in season. They said, if you want to do it, we will do it. Miller has decided to wait, focus on the finishing the year, and he'll talk with the Blues after the season. Kevin Deneen and Paul Maurice. Why don't we do Paul Maurice first? Paul Maurice, he'll, he'll sit down at the end of the year with Kevin Chevaldeff, decide whether he's going to come back. It's a complicated issue because Paul Maurice has a family, and the family's going to have a say in it, so it's not a stamp. He's coming back for sure. There was some talk after the Olympics that Kevin Deneen will coach Canada at the Worlds. He will not. He'll coach Canada at the under 18s. One thing that's coming soon is the new management group, I think, for Canada at the Worlds. There was a lot of interest, but I think you're going to see a lot of new faces, Ron, as they look towards post Olympics. And Elliot, we're tight for time, but do you think uh, Ron Francis, new GM for Carolina Hurricanes? I, I've asked Jim Rutherford about this. I got a no comment. I believe two things. It's up to Francis if he's ready, and also the owner, Peter Carmanos, if he's comfortable with the transition. It means Mike Bellucci, with whom he's got a relationship in Plymouth, would also be uh, in line for a position with the organization. Okay, hot stove tonight. Thanks to Elliot and Glenn. We'll continue our coverage as we move towards the forever rivals and the Jets hosting Carolina on Hockey Night in Canada.